Dina, Debbie, uh, Chaim, uh, Charles, are all here from my office. They're going to be, we have a collation back there. We, we never expected this many people. I think we ordered for like a, about 100. I think it's about 350 or more people here. So I apologize if there's not enough. We'll do better for next time. We'll get more food. But again, I want, I want to thank Bruce and, and, and Alan and Ronnie. They actually put their time and effort. Now, these are professional guys here. And they, they could be midnight, could be 8 o'clock at night, it could be 2 in the morning. Some people would say that there's something wrong with them. They care so much for the communities that they live in, they do the heavy lifting. That's why I'm very glad that the NBNA has them as the chairs of the Quality of Life Committee for all of us. Two issues I just want to briefly touch upon is uh, one is pertaining to parks. Uh, hopefully everyone has noticed this uh, beautiful Oriental Boulevard uh, beautification project. Uh, that project. That project basically started a few years ago when um, I looked around the city and noticed that um, there were these green streets that were being uh, installed throughout the different boroughs. In Brooklyn they have them along uh, Avenue U, they have them along Seaview Avenue. And I was part of the Quality of Life Committee at the time. I approached the president of the community group, Marilyn. And, you know, together within our group, Marilyn then went to Councilman Nelson and Borough President Markowitz, was able to secure the funding. And not only do and we have this beautiful um, reconstruction now, a beautification project. And I'd like to publicly thank uh, Councilman Nelson. Though, is from my understanding, uh, with the funding, there was a certain amount of funding in place for maintenance, I believe two to three years uh, to maintain it. So we want to make sure that this is uh, maintained indefinitely and you know, make sure that funds are, are always available uh, to keep it looking really nice and water trucks and, and whatever has to be done. Uh, we'd also like to uh, possibly um, try to improve the Cherry Mall, maybe put some more plants there, some, you know, some other greenery in that area, and possibly look into the dead-end streets uh, in front of the barriers and see if we can do some sort of beautification there to make it look much more aesthetic. So this is something that we're, uh, we're working on uh, as far as parks are concerned. The last item I'd like to speak about before I hand it over to Al is uh, there's many traffic issues in the community. Uh, we have decided to take uh, the traffic issues uh, under quality of life at this point in time. Uh, if anyone has any interest in traffic, uh, you know, you can come up, you can contact us, and, you know, we can make you involved in this committee. You know, we want to change that crazy light in front of the church to a regular working light. We want to see what we can do about the zebra lines. All the things that we've been discussing uh, for the past few months, we want to see if we can consistently you know, try to make some improvements, possibly get some more data involved, get some more people involved, some fresh ideas. We know we always have the councilman here to help us. So these are the things that we're going to be working on. I'd like to turn it over now to Alan. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome, neighbors. Thank you. Mr. Foreman, it's a great, great speech, and I'm really happy that the people turned out tonight. Uh, what we'd like to do is... Uh, you know, move on. I was one of the victims that was fired also. So uh, we'd like to keep the group. And just to, uh, some people did say that the quality of life group was defunct. And it never did stop. Uh, Ron, Ron and I and Bruce and all our other volunteers were continuously working. Uh, and we hope everyone would join in. Even people from other sides of the group are willing to work along with us. We extended the uh, Welcome to everyone that was on our committee previously to come and work with us, and we hope you do consider coming back working with us. Um, what we like to just go over briefly is, I have to put my glasses on, is that we're looking for the summer now uh, to get some supplementary sweeping on the weekends, which we've been talking about for the last several years. But before I go back into this, I just want to give a, a quick uh, brief reason why the Quality Life Committee was formed. And, in uh, 2002, uh, for about three years before that, a uh, past president of the uh, Manhattan Beach Community Group, Dan Burrell, uh, I kept asking her, coming to meetings like this, 
and asking her about the problems I heard continuously about the graffiti and the garbage and the uh, receptacles overflowing and the beach having problems. And finally, one day, at, on September 6th, I remember this day, in 2002, she appointed me Quality Life Chairman. And I think we had gotten a lot of things accomplished. I'm very proud of it. Uh, we were able to get the beach locked up on a regular basis after dusk, so it quiets down the community. Uh, we were able to get the dog run under control, uh, where we didn't have dogs barking all night long. Uh, we were able to get the receptacle garbage cans from overflowing, where they very rarely are overflowing. We also brought in several designer garbage pails, and we have three more coming in. Bruce is working on that right now. We're going to strategically place them around the community. And I think you may have noticed some of them on Hamptons. People that do walk with dogs are always very thrilled that there's a receptacle to dis dispose their dogs. Uh, you know. So we have a lot of things going on, and I look forward to also what we'd like to uh, add to our new thing is We've been facing problems on when there's a holiday on Mondays where the recycling is passed, and now we have a pickup two weeks later, and in the summer it kind of gets uh, uh, really backed up. So we're going to try to work with the sanitation, with the, uh, the councilman, uh, possibly moving the pickups from Monday, this recycling, to a Thursday. This way we're sure that every week our recycling is picked up. And this way we won't have that garbage built up for two two weeks in our backyard, and especially when the summer comes along, it becomes a problem for many residents. We're also looking to uh, add to our program, there's fire hydrants around the community, and there's fire boxes and the Verizon boxes where you may see overgrown grass during the summer where it's not maintained and have that being trimmed back so it looks clean and we can keep the community uh, in a real manicured uh, position. So just like we're keeping our lawns, we'd like to keep the areas that are not being attended to, uh, have that put into our local programs. We'd like to do also one uh, coming in the future, is having uh, local businesses setting up in our cafeteria where they can introduce themselves and preferably restaurants in the area where we could come and we could actually, they could kind of show up their foods and their menus and have people get acquainted to our neighborhood uh, restaurants and uh, get an idea of what's really available in our community. Because a lot of people I know, a lot of times I'm going to Bay Ridge or going out of the community, but there are a lot of good restaurants. We're in Bright Sheets of Bay, in Manhattan Beach, there's several also, so we'd like to get them involved, the, uh, the merchants uh, involved with the community so we can see what's going on. Another thing on the quality of life thing that we're going to do is the last point, that we'd like to try to get a fitness program fit up. We'd like to try to keep our neighbors fit. And I know sometimes I have to be called by one of my neighbors to get me into the gym or try to take a walk. Eugene uh, invites me on a bike ride. The last time I took a bike ride with him, I was laid up for six months with my back truck, whether or not, going over the Marine Park Bridge with him. Uh, he's in a lot better shape than I am. Uh, but we like to have a program developed where we have um, trainers come down and actually take advantage of our beach, maybe have uh, some programs done on the beach early in the morning. And, uh, you know, and possibly when the winter months come, if that really test pilot goes good, have a uh, 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 Billy help us out with the use of Kingsborough as maybe one of the facilities that we could continue through the winter. So these are problems that we're looking to uh, go forward with. And that's pretty much done.